What we are doing is working through the body. For instance, if we want the children to learn to write, they first need to be able to make a conscious line on the paper. So we chose one of Truce's songs to teach a simple shape. So through the movement and the rhythm, the children first began to experience that in their bodies. <laughs> Well, I was just noticing, thinking today as I was watching the kids, I'm amazed at how they respond to it. They, they, their faces light up, they're following a story. I mean, some of them are, you know, really quite challenged, and yet there's something, they're, they're getting it, they're following it. There's, there's definitely something going on, and what I really like in Jessica's case is she doesn't do symbolic play. It's like there's this hole that's missing, and yet here she is pretending to be a princess and, and doing what that sort of next developmental step, and we couldn't get her to do it, but she's doing it here. I was a little bit hesitant at first, and I really didn't know if it was an experience that I uh, that Luke would enjoy. And uh, but I would have to say now that the seven weeks have been great. They've been really, really good, and we've seen actually some great improvement in him. And he really looks forward to coming, even at the end of the week. I mean, everybody's tired, but we, you know, he he wants to come to the play group, and and it's obvious that he enjoys it, you know. And um, there's been some changes even at school, like. Um, he does a bit of um, circle time um, on one of his breaks. He goes back into uh, one of his old classrooms. And uh, he's actually, if they're doing circle, he reaches up to take someone else's hand, which he has never done, you know? And they've been doing circles since primary, and he's in grade three. So, I mean, and, and, and everybody notices that at school as well. So it's, it's kind of, it's exciting, you know? One of the most important parts to me was just the affirmation that that the group gave to each child and uh, to their parents. I mean, it, because it is, uh, when you're a parent of a child with special needs, you often don't get that kind of support and affirmation for for your child. So it's nice to see people just appreciate the gifts and the personality of your of your child. <laughs> The question here is about everybody having creative potential and that the tools that access our creativity, the tools that spark our imagination are the ones to be using, particularly with kids with special needs. Much a you know it's a social social kind of time for you know for Luke and I whether it was whether it was me with them or Darlene or the both of us traveling with them because um, you know it became almost a family time.
there is a place for everybody in the arts, regardless of their abilities, regardless of their talents and their directions, because the arts are so enormous in their embrace. For Cody, fitting in with any group has been total disaster and actually he's found success here for the very first time with any group of people. So that's quite amazing. Well, the big board is support. We need support from the parents, we need support from the teachers, we need support from the people who are going to provide us with the facilities and the location. And we need support from the instructors to, to carry this on and to remain dedicated to it. Yeah.